everyone. Welcome to Pam Reading Freya. Today we're going to be doing a general reading for everyone under the sign of Pisces. So let's begin by mixing the cards. What is important to know for everyone under the sign of Pisces. Uh, please, if you are wearing headphones to listen to this reading, uh, pull them out or turn down the volume while I shuffle because it can be hurtful on your ears. Let's put in the intention. This reading is for everyone under the sign of Pisces for the month of April. I'm hoping to receive what is important to know for everyone under the sign of Pisces at the moment. What we call them. Receive Pisces. Everyone under the sign of Pisces. What is important to know for Pisces? Got the deck in three parts. Pisces. Month of April. Pisces, month of April. <clears throat> okay, I cut the deck and I began pulling out your cards. We have the Knight of Wands, the Devil in the reverse position. The Eight of uh, Wands, the Fool, Reverse, Ten of Swords, Reverse, and the Two of Wands, Reverse. Okay, mm, this is a hard decision to make. Let's see what is important to know for you in love relationships. Pisces, what is important to know for everyone under the sign of Pisces? In love relationships. I'm open to receive for Pisces. 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 April. Okay. Past life relationships. Okay, so if let's begin with the beginning. Okay. Uh, so if you are a woman under the sign of uh Pisces for the month of April, I see that you are going to be dealing with um, with a man. This man is in his 30s, could be around in his 30s. This man is, um, is a really active person. Um, is really happy. He's always ready for adventure. Uh, what is the new thing? The only downfall I see about this person in your life is that this person will at, time, at times tend to make the same mistakes that, uh, that he makes in the past. For some of you, I see if you are a woman, you have decided to um, end with some of the... Mind, mindset, or end with some of the things that tie you to this person for one reason or another. And um, you have decided to set yourself free. Okay, some of you that are, uh, they are a man, I can see you removing yourself from a situation, from a relationship. Of from people around you that you know is unhealthy okay you have made that decision I can see how uh, it's possible that many of you came to that realization okay I'm not feeling happy anymore I'm not feeling this relationship anymore I'm tired of the unhealthiness I'm tired of going round in circles nothing gets resolved no communication and some of you have decided, okay, that's it. I'm moving out. I can see some of you uh, packing, uh, living in a hurry. Um, this is maybe because some of you make that decision and are that you have reached um, the bottom line, okay? You have reached the bottom line. You have reached the realization. You have to understand that it's not working out. I see you packing and leaving that situation. Maybe around the end of the month of April, you will kind of rethink 
how fast did these things happen? How fast did these things happen? And how fast, um, looking back, you are out of that, okay? I will say that for some of you, um, it's highly advisable to plan better how you are going to be, begin moving forward um, with the plans and ideas that you have. Because I can see how some of you will take a step back into getting out of this relationship because you didn't think things through, you didn't plan, or you didn't have any savings for the future. It's like um, taking a step back. Some of you will be rethinking the situation, and some of you will definitely leave that behind. For the ones that are rethinking the situation, please think about what made you make that move in the first place. And don't convince yourself of giving another chance or waiting longer for things to resolve because you already know that is not going to happen. This, uh, this month for me is definitely leaning more for many of you into love relationships. One of the reasons that you are going to rethink the situation and are going to reevaluate is because you have a strong connection with this person. There is a lot of, uh, when you and this person are good, it's a lot of giving and receiving. Intimacy can be really, really good. It's a lot of uh, passion and things like that, okay? And that, that sometimes is very hard to let go. At the same time, there is a identification with this person like it's highly possible that when you met this person, you felt a connection, something that you will think in your mind or you will recognize it's not easy to find. There is a lot of uh, mixed feelings because when it's good, it can be really, really good. But at the same time, when it's bad, it can be really, really bad. You and this person will have a tendency to either help each other or this, this destroy each other. And that is where you have to be careful and recognize those red flags of the unhealthiness and in, in in what it has not worked in the past for, for many of you. I can see how many of you will think about how it was and maybe, um, but I'm not sure, okay? Some of you will have the uh, opportunity to communicate, to talk about what happened, and maybe some of you will be resolved. But for the majority of you, I see how you understand how that is not helping you and how that is unhealthy and how um, removing yourself from this relationship or situation is the best thing for you. In the beginning of all these changes, because some of you are going to be possibly moving, living to a, in a different house, um, making changes in your house, in your environment. If he is the one that left, you have to readjust, okay? And I can see how many of you are going to feel like everything can feel like scrambling down or not working out. And I, for this, I have to say, I can see how you're going to see many things coming at you at the same time. And there is going to be a point where you are going to think, okay, this is it. This is the end. I'm not going to be able to make rent. I'm not going to be able to pay the bills. Or it's going to be an inner feeling that you are not going to get out of this situation in a good, um, in good, in good, in good light or in good energy. Okay. For that, I have to say that just when you think that this is not possible and that this is not working out or that this is the end, something is going to happen that turn things around. I also see many of you will either uh, make money 
out of a situation that you thought, okay, everything is lost, and I just have to let go of this. Something happens that uh, you will be dodging bullets and things turn around, and a positive um, outcome comes to the situation, okay? When I say positive, is something is going to be in your advantage or something is going to help you when you thought it wasn't possible. So that is good news. Okay, another thing that I see more by the end of April is that uh, you might not feel ready to communicate or to collaborate with someone. Uh, for that, all I have to say, please rethink the situation. Always talking about resolving and communicating and collaborating with people around you is best than closing up. So think about that and think about this relationship that has a lot of ups and downs and where things can progress really, really good fast, but things can also go downhill very, very fast. Think about communicate if it's in your hands and it's a possibility to resolve with communication and talking about this, uh, what it has not worked in the past is highly advisable. Do not close communication, be open to communication, but neither let this person convince you that things are going to be different when it's clearly that it hasn't worked, even though you have maybe put the best of you in the relationship or that you have tried hard. When it comes to changes uh, and plans and ideas, please think about how you are going to do this so you can be more successful and not um, taking a step back, okay? taking a, Not taking a step back, not even to, you know, to push yourself. Just please, even if it's hard, keep moving forward. That is all I have for everyone under the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If um, you would like to book a private reading with me, in the description box, you can find the information in how to do that. Thank you for allowing me. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.